Hello, and welcome to episode 14 of Rivers Arcade Review. My name is Ed. This channel is dedicated to the coin-op video games of yesteryear. Today I will be reviewing a game from my past, Defender. Defender was released by Williams in 1980. My first time playing Defender was at Funtime Square in hometown Illinois. Defender is a side-scrolling space shooter in which you fly either right or left while shooting enemies, all while defending humans on the surface of the planet from said enemies. You control your ship with one of the most complicated panels of its time. You move up and down with a two-way joystick and control everything else with five different buttons. One to fire, one for thrust, one to reverse, one for smart bomb, and one for hyperspace. You are armed with an unlimited forward firing laser, as well as a limited number of smart bombs. Smart bombs destroy all enemies on the screen. You are stocked with one smart bomb for every ship you begin the game with, as well as one extra one for every extra ship you earn, so you need to use them sparingly. In this game you must battle six different enemies in all. The first enemy are the landers. Landers are green and yellow three-legged enemies. Landers not only try to destroy you by either shooting or running into you, but they will attempt to capture the humans from the planet. Once the lander captures a human from the planet's surface, it will carry it to the top of the screen and convert it into a mutant. If you shoot the lander while holding a human, the human will fall back to the surface, and if you catch it, you will receive 500 points and replacing it to the planet's surface, you will receive another 500 points. If the human falls to the surface on its own, you will receive 250 points, but if it falls from too large of a height, it will be destroyed. You receive 150 points for every lander you destroy. The next enemy are the mutants. Mutants look like a hybrid of landers and humans. Mutants will chase you down and not only shoot at you, but also attempt to fly into your ship. You receive 150 points for every mutant you destroy. Baiters are green UFO shaped enemies that will shoot at you as well as try to crash into your ship. Baiters will appear if you take too long to clear out the rest of the enemies needed to clear the level. You do not need to destroy all the baiters to finish the level. You receive 200 points for every baiter destroyed. Next enemy are bombers. Bombers are blue and purple cube shaped enemies that fly through the playfield and leave mines that will destroy your ship and block your shots. You will receive 250 points for every bomber you destroy. The next two enemies are combined. Pods are purple star shaped enemies that when destroyed will release eight red swarmers that will immediately lock onto your ship and try to fly into it to destroy it. You receive 1,000 points for every pod destroyed and 150 points for every swarmer destroyed. The planet is approximately six times larger than the screen, so you are able to see the remaining area of the planet via a scanner which shows the planet terrain as well as the enemies that are represented by colored dots. The color code for the enemies is as follows. Olive green for landers. Lime green for mutants. Dark green for baiters purple for bombers, yellow for pods, and red-orange for swarmers. Defender's mission is to protect the remaining humans stranded on the planet below. The game begins with 10 humans, and they are replenished on every wave ending with a 5 or a 0. Humans can be destroyed by your laser fire as well as falling from too high of a distance. You receive a bonus for every remaining human after each wave is complete. You get 100 points per human at the end of level 1, 200 points per human on level 2, and so on, until you max out at 500 points per human. If all humans are destroyed or captured, the planet explodes and all landers will automatically become mutants. Once the planet explodes, Future levels will begin without the planet, and mutants will replace what normally would have been landers, although the planet will regenerate every five levels when the humans regenerate. Defender is a very challenging game and does not transfer well to MAME very well due to the complexity of the arcade control panel. I've always found this game very difficult, as you could tell by my recorded play, and often confusing due to the layout of the buttons, but many have had success playing this game well, so I cannot condemn the game, so I would still recommend playing it if you can find it in an arcade, because as I mentioned, it doesn't translate well to emulators. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to hit like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos.